on my Instagram. This dude reached out to me. He was like, he was like, you're a narcissist. He was like, you have Messiah complex. He was like, how could you be so conceited to say that you're the best speaker in the world? And yet again, bro, I'm not a good writer. Like I even have dyslexia. Like I'm not that good at writing captions and shit like that. And he went through one of my posts. He was like, you can't even write. He was like, this is piss poor. He was like, you can't be Tony Robbins. And I was like, I was like, <laughs> I, was like I was like, damn. I was like, bro, it burned me for a little bit. I was like, God damn, I didn't know, I didn't know nobody had this much malice towards me, actually. But that's what happened when you shine. And I was like, oh, I was like, dude, I'm sorry that you don't like my writing. And I was like, but me deciding and committing to being the best inspired speaker in the world, this is not something that's up for comparison. I'm not comparing myself to nobody. I'm not. I'm not saying I'm best. I'm like, I don't even care if you think I'm the best, bro. I don't need you to think that I'm being the best. It's like, why wouldn't I be the best? What am I going to say? Oh, I'm committed to being a speaker. Great. Cool, bro. Exciting. No, I'm committed to being the best speaker that I can be, bro. Thank you for joining into the Climbing the Summit podcast, where we talk about your personal summit to your personal goal. Today, we have Dave Shine in the building. He is a repeat climber. He has knowledge and information that he sometimes doesn't even understand that he's dropping. He is a gentleman that I met a few years back. We are in the same coaching understanding, which is the three principles. We will talk more about that in other episodes. Dave was a former client who is now out in the world shining. Today, we are talking about being committed to your goal. You're... What's up, Dave? How are you, man? Well, we vibe. It's a beautiful day in the neighborhood, my man. <laughs> That's what I like to hear, man. That's what I love to hear. So, uh, A, we got our uh, personal assistant in the room, just so you know. AI note taker, huh? I don't know. It's free for a year, so I said, I'm going to go ahead and give it a shot. That's beautiful. Okay, it? Oh, no, that's cool, bro, because um, what's really cool is that um, I watched this video yesterday. This dude, like, you know, really. I think, yeah, bro, I think going, playing with AI and learning how that stuff works is really, I think it's really valuable. I think it'd be really good for everybody. <laughs> for you, you know what I mean? I think it's really good for you, fair enough. Yeah, 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 man. Like, whatever there is to know about this stuff, I'm trying to know because it's about to take off. Sorry, it's already time to take it off, as you know. Bro, I need you to, I'm going to send you this video. You have to watch it, bro. You literally have to watch it. I really think it will kind of, um, yeah, I think it would be really good for you, for real. <laughs> Especially if, like, just moving in a direction, work with AI. It's really going to be like, oh, shit, like, damn. Great, bro. <laughs> What is it about? Uh, so it's JP. So um, it's, it's this guy named um, uh, Alan D. Thompson and JP, and they're having a conversation. Alan D. Thompson, he is the he's the world leading AI expert, some like that. Uh, I don't even know who he is, but very very important guy in the on the AI scene. And so he uh, he's interviewing JP about the alignment problem with AI. And so align the alignment problem is that trying to get the goals of AI aligned with human goals and things like that. But bro, like how JP was like, bro, he's like, do we actually want to do that? And he was like, he was like, he was like, and it's funny they're calling it artificial intelligence. Like it's our intelligence. Like this is not our intelligence. This shit is bigger than you and me. It's like we created God and now we're trying to control God. Like you out of there. You know, we create, like you just create God and now you're trying to control God. And he was like, the only thing there's not, he's like, it's not a problem, but it is that we have to learn how to dance with this because it's coming. You can't stop it. And most people are afraid. It's like, what you going to do? You can't stop it. So you better learn how to dance with it. Now you better, you'll be better off learning how to dance with it. You know what I mean? <laughs> Heck yeah, I know exactly what you mean, man. That's what, uh, um, yeah, 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 you out there, you on it. Who is it? Alex Hermosi? He was like, um, I watched a video of him. He's basically like, you just got to think of this as like, um, you plus, 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 plus. Uh, so you're going to get sucked into this wormhole of thinking you got to do it this way or AI hey, will take my job and AI. Hey, look, man, like the other day, bro, I hit you up and I was like, man, like, I don't know what's going on with this US dollar thing. And then everybody I talked to was like, Danny, if you hear about this, this must be something. It's got to be something because like, I'm. I guess I'm mainstreaming to my friends. So they like, they're like, oh, oh you, said, you know something about that. But it's like, oh, yeah, but I've been listening a lot about that. Well, what's interesting, Dave, is like recognizing we in a global economy now, bro. Like AI is going to, it sure is going to take up a few jobs. But if you think about like Amazon, they were already talking about doing drone delivery. McDonald's was already talking about doing uh, cafes that were all, um, 
box yeah, and doing stuff. So, yeah. so like that's coming, man. And, and, and it ain't nothing. You, what people want to the truck driving industry, for instance, that's gonna be obsolete. Um, and that's like a lot of men's jobs. So I think that's crazy, bro. I, I'm glad you brought that up, bro. Yeah, and, and and yet again, but it also gives space for evolution as well. That's really one of the biggest things. It gives space for evolution, and, and uh, I love. Yeah, dude, you gotta watch that, and you gotta get back to me when you watch it. But it's like, it's like it's that thing. He was like, he's like, AI is just another thing sweeping through humanity, actually. So it's like, you know, it's like it's it's uh, it's it's it's, it's uh, what did he say? It's order, it's disruption, it's chaos, and then it calms down. It's order, disruption, chaos, and it calms down. It's like this is the the this is the the chaos seemingly the disruption and then it's like it's going to settle down but it's like this is just a phase of humanity right now like obviously it's like this ain't nothing new it's like it just seems that it's he said he's like the only reason people are scared of ai is because the people are scared of themselves it's like that's it well yeah that that's at the end of the day ain't that what everybody is afraid of is themselves um Literally. in some way <laughs> and if we can overcome that little thing right there like we've already discussed it like the experience of life just tremendously like increases like yeah. triple. But man, Ooh. I think this AI thing, bro, is just like cool. I'm glad it's cool. I'm excited. This dude, that dude JP is crazy because like he was like uh, he was like he, he was really playing with it. He was like, Yeah, I learned how to he was like I went to I went to Siri and then I connected Siri to Chat GTP and then I connected Chat GTP with uh something, something, something. He was like, So I went to Siri and was like, Hey Siri let me let me talk to chat gtp uh, let me talk to chat gtp and so he's having a conversation with chat gtp through siri and then he 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 put it on his son's ipad and so his son he said his son was asking him to read him um he said my son was asking me to read stories about uh godzilla and he was like great so he set it up where his son can be like hey siri read me a story about godzilla and then at the end of the story uh, Chat GTP would say, "Do you want something else?" And then the boy would go, in, "Yeah, tell me about two gods that was fighting." And so it's just a, a continuous, uh, continuous dialogue, continuous uh, audio book that his son is now enjoying because he connected the API. Like, bro, it's cool, man. Man, there's so much to that out here right now. Like, ways to just like if you utilize it, I use it for my kids, man. The other day they were like, "Daddy, can you tell me a story?" I'm like, uh, daddy ain't got no stories right now. They were like, can you go make it with your your website? I said, I sure can. Just give me a second. Let me go do it. Yeah, I was like, what y'all want to hear about? It was like, Arya, daddy, go to the force. I'm like, well, who do y'all meet in the force? Blade. I was like, what? okay, Blade's in the monster machine. Cool. Put him in there. And that's what we did. That's what I be doing sometimes, man. So that's real cool from that standpoint. And then just, just the whole thing, bro. So how was the, uh, how was the shine space? Bro, bro, I feel like, like I literally just made it. I had to make a video because I'm like, damn, bro, I feel like so uh, full, bro. I'm, I'm complete, bro. I feel like I'm in that space because, like, you know, everybody just shared, like, their experience. And I was like, man, my life is like, I was different. Like, it, it, it's just that type of thing. It's like where you really know that you're really creating an impact and being of service. And then, um, yeah, dude, it was just crazy. Like, I just put the, I was with these people for six weeks, bro, and they different now. It's like, you know, they, they just... It was one guy, he was like, yeah, he was like, you know, I've been, uh, he's like, I, I bought this camera a while back. This dude got the camera, he got the gimbal, he got the whole damn thing. He was like, and I put it in my car a long time ago, and uh, over this weekend, I was like, wait, I bought a camera. I like making videos. Oh, let me make a video. This dude made a whole, like, video of his friend riding a motorcycle, and I was like, that's it. It's like, we're literally uncovering pieces of ourselves that we thought we lost, and that's all it is. Like, they're uncovering aspects of themselves. Uh, through self-expression, through shining, and everybody was like, "Bro, we coming back." He's like, "If you hold another shine space, we gonna come to it." Uh, it was like, "We we write new testimonies and things like that." So, uh, yeah, bro, that shit was big, man. I feel, yeah, I'm like, "Wow, great, man. That's cool, man. <laughs> Amazing." This was, the, this was the final week. Yeah, this is the final. Well, so I'm doing a bonus week. Yeah, today was week six, but I'm doing a bonus week because I'm gonna talk to them about uh, Money Codes, which is a project that me and Yulita created. I, is that like, uh, man, is that just going to be for them or are you going to open that week, the last week up for new people to get an experience of it? Yeah, that's funny. You I never thought about that, a lot of new people to get experience, but I, it was going to be for them actually just because we already got the, you know, we already built the relationship and stuff. Yeah. 
Oh, that's perfect, man. I just want. I, 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 how do how do people get involved with the next one? Have you already? I haven't. So now, I haven't. And so now the so it seems to me that um, dude is like, God damn, I'm actually just like, we, I'm just really like blown away because I'm like, well, you can really find commit people out there, and I, I don't know why, like. It's like, cause I mean, well, basically, like I've been working with people that's really not committed, and so I'm like, I'm like, this is, you know, it's like the thing. It's like, oh, this is what we got, but I'm like, no, this is what we got. Like, there are people that are, we've been talking about this, we've been saying it, but like we haven't had the experience, so, so that's why it's kind of like theoretical. But now I got the experience. I'm like, oh, people are really out there committed to this shit. Like they really, like people can really commit, and I'm committed, bro. So it's like, you know, and then people committed. So it's like it just makes sense, and it's like if you just that type of guy, it's like you just got. Did you commit and then they committed? No, this is what I'm saying, bro. This is this is what I'm saying. You've been committed to making videos. You've been committed to the, the we've been committed to the men's group. And so it's like we was already doing it at that level. It's like I'm gonna show up anyways. You're gonna show up anyways. We're gonna show up to the men's group anyways. And now I'm getting people that's gonna show up anyways. And then in the group, I'm just creating more commitments actually. And so that's what I mean. It's like I'm gonna show up anyways. You are gonna show up anyways. But it's like are there more people that's going to show up anyways? Well, so, I, yeah, yeah, yeah. But I, I don't want to minimize what you're saying. because It's not yeah. minimized. But I do want to make this, like, I've noticed, like, because it was, like, a week, two weeks ago, commitment came in big for you. Let me say one more time, real quick, bro. I appreciate you. because you to, Bro, you don't even know what the fuck happened yet. You don't even know what happened yet. Thank you for you. you was, I was talking to him yesterday. He was like, "Yeah, bro, I talked to Danny, and Danny was like, yeah, this dude Dave on this commitment shit.'" I was like, "Damn, the message got out around town already.'" <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah, that's cool. Hey, but yeah, that's, right. No, like that's it, bro. It's like um, this thing, this the commitment thing for you is is alive as shine time was. And I think you noticed that something wasn't there with the shine time. Like it's still shine time, don't get me wrong. But like I think the message itself, uh, it seemed like you may have internalized that a little bit more and put that into your content as a way to focus people, something to point people to. Uh, yeah. but this commitment thing, bro, that I've noticed that you've been on has been huge. Like just the way that you're interacting with it, the way that like cause you cause you've been fired up at me, like, Danny, what are you committed to? I'm like, ah, I don't know. Yeah. Let's see. Yeah. Bro, so um, so what I wrote this morning, I was like, oh, dude, so yeah, like you straight up. And I'm in, I'm about to tell you the miracles of it. So I did the, the talk on Thursday. Uh I think the talk, I was like, hey, I'm doing more talks. I was like, I'm committed to speaking on a stage on May 31st. So, so I thought I was like, I'm committed. I was like, so if you know some people, go tell some people, hey, I know this guy named Dave Shine, he's the best scratch in the world. Uh, come talk, come talk. Doobin was like, hey, he was like, he was like, bro, I got you. He's like, I got you. Like, I got you. Bro. I'm gonna set some shit up. Doobin said, I got you. I was like, okay, cool. He was like, let's set up a call. So that was the 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 the, the, the law talk was on Thursday. I talked to Doobin on Friday. I talked to Doobin. He was like, yeah, I know this. So real quick, I made a commitment last month. I said, I'm going to travel with you, Lita. I was like, I definitely am committed to traveling with you, Lita. On May the 20th. That's what I that's what I wrote. On May the 20th. Doom, like I'm talking to Doom. He was like, yeah, I know this lady. They got this thing called Founders Fest uh, in, in London on May the 20th. He was like, I'm going to talk to her this week and tell her about you. And he sent her email already. <laughs> he was like, he was like, Dave, what you trying to, he was like, bro, I want to, I want to create some shit. He was like, who you, he was like, who you want to talk to? I was like, I was like, I don't know. He was like, yeah, I remember I was in this place of not really being specific. And then I was like, you know, I was like, I really want to talk to people that's creating an impact in the world, that's really doing something that's like, you know, I didn't say I'm not confined to business people. I'm not confined to spiritual people. I'm not really, it's not a thing, but it's like people that are create, you know, creating, bro. That's it. That's, uh, that's the best way to explain it. And he was like, he was like, oh, I know this founder's stress that's happening on May the 20th. Bro, <laughs> that's how it works. Is <laughs> Is like you just put what it is that you're trying to do out in the world, and um, what's supposed to show up for you is gonna start showing up for you. That's yeah. cool, bro. I mean, I can't. I w I would like to express some more excitement for you, bro. But that like in itself is exciting to see that you closed out. Like just to see where you were, 
even like this a few months ago before the shine six weeks ago before the shine space started i don't know the commitment was that big of like wasn't that overwhelming thing for you and then to come out of this and talking to other gentlemen talking to other men people and um recognizing oh my commitment is a thing that we're 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 not we don't focus on but that is a big piece of the puzzle so like that's powerful bro like yeah and then so, Google, coming with the, with the top y'all both going y'all both going to europe uh yeah hell yeah well i'm, I'm committed bro I don't even know how yet. So that's the fun thing about commitments is that I'm making commitments that I don't know how. So it, I, I'm not limited to my mind anymore. I'm not limited to to, to what I think is possible. It, it creates a po it creates a possibility that I'm not that I can't go into the stories, bro. Like I can't I can't go into the stories of why this can't happen because I don't even know. I just I was like so this is what I realized about commitment. I wrote it this morning. It's like a commitment is just a tool, bro. It's just a tool. And it's a tool to, 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 to expand my being, actually. When it's true and when it's sincere and when it's heartfelt, it's not about pressure. It's not about stress. It's not about obligation. It's a tool to direct me. And this is something that I was talking about in the live talk. It's like a lot of the times, bro, it's like, I want this, but I don't want this. And so we get so we're always looking at what we don't want instead of just looking at what you want. And so you move from wanting to committing. And uh, it was cool because I talked to my buddy before I did the live talk, and he was like, "What is it?" He was like, "What is the live?" He was like, "What do you want everybody to get from the live talk?" I said, "I think people struggle with fear of commitment." He was like, "Bro, that's not it." He was like, "That's not what you're talking about." And I was like, "Oh, I'm I'm talking to people about moving from wanting to committing," and it's like, "Why can't you commit? Like, why?" And and I know why actually because you know it's a lot of stuff that comes up, but it's like when you really understand a commitment, it's not about doing more. It's not about taking new action, but it's like deciding right now that I'm committing to something um, that's going to expand me. It's like I'm, I've never experienced generating ten thousand dollars in one month. I never experienced that before. And so that's a commitment that I make. And it's like. If I. If it's nothing, if, if it's something that I've never experienced before, I'm going to have to become someone I have never become before. I have to be somebody I haven't been before. And it's like that commitment pulls me. And I realized that I can't be committed in the future to that. I can only be committed right now. I can only decide right now. And the only thing that will keep me from being committed right now is the stories and security, lack of limitation. Um, and even the ideas of a future in the past could prevent me from being committed right now, actually. It's like when I started thinking about, oh, but what if I don't make it? Or what if I'm committed in the future? It's like, that's in the way, bro. That's in the way. Would you? Be, that's in the way. That's in the way. You know what I mean? <laughs> Yeah, man, that's it, dude. Is I, I love the clarity, and but not only the clarity, the feeling, right? Like the feeling behind what you're saying, and you know, Sid Banks, bro. Like you know, I've been like re-listening to stuff, re re-paying attention, and he talks about like the only way that uh, like change happens or occurs is we either hear truth or where we find a good feeling. And I really noticed how you link these two together, right? You've always been in a good feeling, bro. Being around Dave, always been a good feeling. But now it's like the truth, like it, 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 it's crystal clear for people out there to see what you're talking about. One of the podcasts I just got off, bro, dude, I had talked to old boy in like two years, man. It's been, it's been a while. And uh, last time I talked to him, he's in the podcast game. You know, he learned about 3P and everything. He's in the podcast game and everything. Um, and I'm like asking about it. He's like, nah, I ain't doing that. Uh, I, he's like, I want to get back to it. I'm like, oh, come on, man. I was like, so you, you coach it. Are you, you, you teach it, right? And he's like, yes, I'm teaching. <laughs> and his eyes lit up, bro. Because his CTI project was... He wanted to bring like the three principles understanding to schools. Now he's coaching in schools, bro. Coaching in schools. Uh, but he's not, but at the time he was upset about being in school coaching, but not being able to put the program together for his coaching. Little shift in perspective happened for him, bro. Just a little one. And what happened with that shift in perspective? Now he recognizes he's putting together the program in the school. Currently talking to Sam, he just he put together a, a fundraiser, bro. Uh, raise enough money to buy a book for every seventh and eighth grader in his school. 
every single one of them. That's not like the fundraiser you put together. So it's just like, it, it's real cool to hear a commitment and then putting that feeling with truth really impacts the game. Danny, dude, I love how you just said that because that's yet again that's something that I didn't see about that. And I want to just say, I love what you said, shift in perception, because that's the live talk that I did on Thursday. It was called Commitments Create Miracles. And uh, the word miracle, if you go to uh, the Course in Miracles, which is a, a, a spiritual text, it says a miracle is a shift in perception, which you just said, actually. And so that's what allowed me to happen. When I made that commitment, I had to sit with the tension of, what I didn't want and what I did want. And I had to decide on what I wanted because I was in that place. I was like, oh, so a little backstory. I made a commitment uh, at the beginning of March, April the 2nd, I still didn't seem like I had made any movement. And so now I'm sitting with myself on April the 2nd and I'm like, what am I doing? I haven't done anything, I'm not committed. And so I'm looking at, and now I'm fearing the future. I'm like, oh my God, uh, by the end of, April, I got to uphold this commitment. And it's like, so I'm sitting in there. And so I'm realizing that, oh, there's two people right now. It's the, 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 they call it the good wolf and the bad wolf or something like that. It's like the guy that's looking at what he doesn't want, which is I don't want to end up at the end of this month and say that I didn't uphold my commitment. And I do want to be committed. And so I allowed myself to sit with that tension and something new was created. I just realized I can be committed now. And then the end of the month don't even matter because I can commit now and that will take care of itself. And that's the really cool thing. You're talking about the feeling. Because what happened is I fell into the feeling of just allowing everything to fall away. I only got this present moment. And then the word commitment came out. The word commitment was actually a tool for me to be present with myself in the good feeling, actually. You just said that, and I just saw it so clearly right now. But that's actually what it is. And it's like, when you get in that good feeling, I told somebody this. I was like, this is all I ever wanted. I just want to, it's, it's just funny. I'm just using these excuses, these words to stay in a good feeling, actually. It's really funny. It's like, I was like, I just wanted to be on fire. I've been wanting, bro, I might not ever get to speak on a stage, bro. I might die tomorrow, bro. I don't even know. But it's like, I'm on fire right now. I'm in that feeling. And that's really all that matters to me. Bro, coming alive to life, man. I didn't real. I didn't realize that that was that was it, bro. I, I didn't realize. I mean, I did, right? Like, we get the training. We get the understanding. We live life. But it's like, no, really, it's the feeling. The thing that people notice about, you know, your work, my work, people like, like Michael Neal, Rob Cook, what they notice about these people's work, bro, is the feeling. Yes, that we could, like uh, Dubum said to me one time, bro, he's like, bro, I could put together some words, bro. And uh, so, because he's been going on stage and doing like open mics and doing that kind of thing. And it's real cool to hear how, becoming yourself, climbing your personal mountain, whatever that means for you, is essentially the process of opening up to that freedom that you're talking about, right? It's like, okay, there was a shift that happened. There's a shift that occurred. Am I beating myself up about that shift? Am I, what am I doing with that? Um, yeah, bro. Yeah. This morning I woke up and I went for a run. I don't, I don't run. I just woke up. I was like, I feel like running. So I ran. And here's what's crazy. It's like, how often do we get a calling like that? And we don't go do it. We say, oh, well, I ain't ran in a long time. Oh, I got running shoes. Who cares? You know what I mean, bro? It's like, who cares? But like, you, you ask what I'm committed to. I'm committed to my health. I'm committed to becoming that better person, right? And so, like, do I, do I, I don't care how it shows up, right? I don't care how it shows up as long as I'm moving in the direction of my overall health and well being. And everybody, just so you know, this is just like day fresh dropping gems. What, what's really cool, like you just said about the commitment of health. It's like now you're able to, it makes it easy to discern, bro. It makes it real easy to discern. It's like even this, it's like if you were committed to running, everything that came up about you not running, you can just get that. You're like, I ain't got time to pay attention to that shit. You know what I mean? I don't have time for that, actually. And it's not even about the, it, it ain't, you know, it's just like, oh, okay, bro, I don't got to be in my head about this. And it's like, it's funny because this is why people talk about discipline. They talk about all these things, like doing the things that you don't have to think about. 
And I, I, it's it's so cool how that works, actually, that we really can, bro, you know, Danny, we say we, we, we are new in every moment. We can create ourselves anew in every moment. We are new in every moment. We don't even have to change nothing. There's nothing to change. There's nothing to change. There's only a story about, oh, this is an old me, and now I got to change me. No, there is no old you. It's only you right now creating the same story, believing the same story, and you don't have to. You, you have options, and it's like, Making commitments because who they make me become, actually. Like, who do I have to become? In the, who am I becoming? You talk about climb your own summit. Who are you becoming in the process? And, Danny, would you even say that you can – it's like, let's not make the summit vague. Like, let's let's be clear about the summit that you're climbing. Like, let's be clear about it so you can – great, climb that summit. The most important thing is that you're clear about uh, what summit. And what's interesting – um, I did an episode about this the other day. Is uh, Star Wars? You you know like you might not be a huge Star Wars fan, but you know they got Star Wars movies out, and the first one came out like in the eighties or something like that. And so they three popped off, did a great job. We don't hear anything about the next three. Like what happened? What happened for another like twenty years? So how fascinating is it? Forty years removed from when the first ones came out. They now have opened up this universe in such a way that there's going to be Star Wars shows, Star Wars, everything you could think of Star Wars. It might be soap operas one day uh, in the the franchise as we move forward. And so, like, I was talking about climbing that mountain and, like, I don't know whether they had the plan to do this all along or not, but at some point, somebody, like, got real clear about how we will end up climbing this mountain. Like, oh, like, we got a peak. We got a peak. We got a peak. People love this stuff. Like, how can we keep going? And so for me, um, yeah, man, it's been real clear. That, like, I'm a conversationalist, bro. Like, that's, you know what I'm saying? Like, I love hearing what people have going on. I love hearing how people are doing in their lives. I love hearing about what – all of that stuff is, like, what I love doing. And so, like, it just looked clear to me the other day. I didn't start like interviewing people versus like doing my little monologue thing, which is cool. Don't get me wrong, monologue cool. But let's let's put that on stage. Let's make sure somebody out there can get some value um, in some other format. Because uh, not that it was massaging my ego and stuff, but it's just you know it, bro. It's a lot easier not to commit uh, than it is to commit. Yeah. 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 Bro, and, and, and you say that, I'm going to even challenge you because it's not, because you committed to something. Somebody, you always committed to something. Like, you, know, <laughs> you committed to something. You might not know it, but obviously you are committed to something, actually. So it's like, that's why I love that. It's like, it's really cool because um, when it comes to a place of like, I think, and this is even more, actually, most people are committing to what they don't want. That's it. And you can see because they're always talking about what they don't want. It's like, well, why are you talking about what you don't want? Because this is what I'm committed to doing. I'm committed to talking about what I don't want. And it's funny because it's actually really it's actually really hilarious, actually. And it's no judgment, but it's like you getting clear on what you want. It's like, okay, I'm about to I'm about to start doing interviews with people. It's like, well, I'm not going to look at why I can't do interviews with people. And I'm not going to look at where the people at. I'm just to look at I'm committed to doing interviews. And even more, like I'm even challenged and it's like, why not be the best fucking interview in the world? Like, why not? You know what I mean? It's not even up for debate. So it was funny. Let me tell you this story. So, you know, I've been, I've been on commitment. I've been sharing it a lot in my, uh, on my Instagram. This dude reached out to me. He's like, he's like, you're a narcissist. He was like, you have Messiah complex. He was like, how could you be so conceited to say that you're the best speaker in the world? And yet again, bro, I'm not a good writer. Like I even have dyslexia. Like I'm not that good at writing captions and shit like that. And he went through one of my posts. He was like, you can't even write. He was like, this is piss poor. He was like, you can't be Tony Robbins. And I was like, I was like, <laughs> I was like, I was like, I was like, bro, it burnt me for a little bit. I was like, God damn, I ain't know, no, I ain't know nobody had this much malice towards me, actually. But that's what happened when you sign. And so I was like, uh, and I was like, oh, I was like, I'm sorry that you don't like my writing. And I was like, but you know, uh, this me deciding and committing to being the best inspired speaker in the world, this is not something that's up for comparison. I'm not comparing myself to nobody. I'm not I'm not saying I'm best. I'm like, I don't even care if you think I'm the best, bro. I don't need you to think that I'm being the best. It's like, why wouldn't I be the best? What am I gonna say? Oh, I'm committed to being a speaker. Great, cool, bro. 
exciting. No, I'm committed to being the best leader that I can be, bro. Why would I not commit to do something fucking good? Like, what's, what's you know what I mean? So, yeah, dude, I just, I just, it's like bad. It's like, so it's like you in a place where you don't know what you want. It's like, what would be beautiful for you? Like, what would be beautiful? Commit to that. Commit to creating beauty in your life. Man. And, and it's like, it's, it's right now though. Like, don't get it twisted. Don't get it twisted about it's the future. Don't get it twisted. It's only now. It's only now. It's only now. You choosing now. Is this beautiful for me? Nope. Well, I can make a decision. Great. Bro, I appreciate you dropping these like gems and these nuggets here, bro. Uh, fresh off the call, man. I have to appreciate that. Thank you for joining the Climbing the Summit podcast. We'll catch y'all next week. Same time, same place.